Okay, med student, tell me about the next patient. Yeah, a 63-year-old with new diagnosis of giant cell arteritis. I think we should start her on oral prednisone. Good plan. Anything else? Yeah, probably a proton pump inhibitor to protect the stomach. Whoa, whoa! You seem to have ventured below the nasal bridge in an ophthalmology clinic. Is that bad? Please direct all body medicine inquiries and recommendations to my Lowell scribe, Jonathan, who is over there holding a stethoscope. He will alert the responsible specialty post-haste. It's just that high-dose steroids for a long period of time can cause body problems. Agreed, which is why we should consider upadacitabine, a JAK1 kinase inhibitor and subject of a recent phase three clinical trial published by the New England Journal of Medicine. Jonathan? Adults 50 years or older were randomly assigned to receive upadacitabib plus a 26-week glucocorticoid taper or placebo plus a 52-week glucocorticoid taper. Did you mean to hand me the actual paper because this is just a picture of an eyeball? The primary endpoint was sustained remission of giant cell arteritis at 52 weeks. So what did they find? The upadacitinib group had a higher percentage of sustained remission than the placebo group. That's great. Well... Jonathan, we should probably discuss this with the patient's body medicine doctor.